the visual translator was, was helpful to us during our deployment in Iraq last year, uh, particularly because we had no materials uh, to assist us in uh, translating and talking to the people uh, there in the country, uh, particularly with uh, respect to them reporting to us uh, accidents, incidents of uh, either theft, burglary, uh, there were incidents of uh, uh, bombings and ambushes that people were coming to us and telling us that uh, uh, there, was a, there was a potential ambush that was going to happen at a certain time and place, but we didn't understand what they were saying. Uh, so the graphic training aid assist, uh, assisted us in um, actually communicating uh, from us to them and, and back uh, to prevent accidents and incidents from happening uh, and to also allow us to investigate uh, claims by the Iraqi citizens, the things that were going on inside their neighborhoods. Uh, and it helped us a lot during our deployment. Uh, I think the visual translator helped us uh, to save lives, both uh, friendly lives being U.S. So soldiers, coalition soldiers, as well as uh, citizens that were trying to report uh, instances of wrongdoing in their neighborhoods. Uh, I think it did save some lives, both soldiers and Iraqi citizens, uh, by uh, allowing us or allowing the Iraqi citizens to communicate to us potential hazards, uh, both ambush hazards as well as uh, hazards that were within the neighborhood, weapons caches, uh, weapons markets. Uh, there were some um, criminal elements, a, a mob element, if you want to call it that, uh, there within Baghdad, uh, and they, the graphic training aid allowed the citizen to actually tell us uh, or warn us of things that could be there.